up guys, this is Cody Joe back again and today we're going to show you how to do a basic setup for a Mexican red meat tarantula. So for this setup we're going to start with a five and a half gallon terrarium. This particular species spends most of the time in its burrow during the day in the wild as the daytime temperatures exceed over 100 degrees. So they don't like a huge tank. You want something small, secure, and a couple nice burrows that the tarantula is going to make use of. The first thing that we're going to add into here is our first burrow and for that we'll use this cork tube. So you'll see I'm just gonna fit it in the terrarium here and I want the tube to be down towards the bottom so that the tarantula can actually make a burrow inside of the tube. So the next thing I'm gonna add to this terrarium is gonna be my substrate and for this I'm gonna use a more of a sand soil mixture and then that way I'll have the soil who's gonna retain moisture and then the sand that's gonna allow good drainage and then the two together will also allow the tarantula to make a burrow without a collapsing. So now that we've got our substrate in the terrarium, we can kind of feel out what we want to do from there. Now, in a larger terrarium, when you've got a bit more space, you can take another larger hide, and I would typically prefer to put another hide on the en other end of the tank, but for this terrarium, due to the size, we'll just leave the second hide out. So since this is a desert species, you are going to want some additional heat. For this, we'll recommend the Zoomed Creatures heat pad. Either way, no matter what heat pad you want, you're going to want a small heat pad that takes up roughly 25% of the tank, just in one corner. So in this setup, I would do the pad in one far corner and leave it at that. So to tell the ambient temperature in your terrarium, you're going to want a thermometer and for this you can just use an ExoTerra stick-on thermometer. You'll place this somewhere in the tank. I like to place it somewhere in the middle, down lower where the tarantula is actually going to be and that will give me a general idea of the ambient. For this species, you're looking at low to mid 80s. Now with tarantulas, a water dish isn't always necessary. Lots of people like to miss the terrarium for water. They also get a lot of the hydration through the insects that they eat. However, here we like to offer them options. So what we like to do when offering any smaller tarantulas a water bowl, is we like to add a sponge into it. That way there's no risk of the tarantula drowning in any standing water. And for this, you can just use ExoTerra's little cricket sponges, and they work great. Now lastly, we're just gonna fill out this back corner here with this little plant. And we're about ready for our tarantula now. So one important thing to keep in mind when keeping some of these more arid tarantula species is that the way that they survive in the wild is through microclimates. These animals are going to spend most of their time in a burrow of some sort that's going to be cooler and a bit more humid than the surrounding area. So even though where he comes from during the day temperatures may exceed 100 degrees, during that time he'll be down in his burrow and then at night he'll come out and hunt for food when it's cooler. So you can see that's the way that we set this tank up. The reason why we put our hide in first and we did a really deep substrate layer is so that he can excavate his own burrow at the depth he wants and then basically he'll have a humid environment in there even though the rest of his tank will be a little bit more dry. Hopefully that helps you guys out in setting up a red knee tarantula. Everything used in this video today can be purchased on our online store and if you have any more questions feel free to either stop in or throw us a message online and hopefully that does it for you.